The Spurs do have, though, this 22-year playoff streak. It is currently tied for the longest in NBA history. So, George, how confident are you in their chances of keeping that going this year and then breaking the record to get that to 23? I'm fairly confident. I also made the mistake on this show last year saying that uh, they wouldn't make the playoffs. <laughs> so I'm not making that mistake again. But if you look at the kind of the way the Western Conference has shook out, I just don't think Dallas and the Pelicans are ready yet. And that would be the those would be the teams that could be competing for that eight spot. I think the Spurs are securely in that kind of seven or eight role. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally with you there. I have about six locks. The L.A. teams, Houston, Denver, Portland, Utah. Then you get into the conversation with the Spurs and the Warriors, and they're going to keep this thing going. Of course they are. I mean, the, you talk about the continuity there. You get back some 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 health in there. Young players getting back in there. You still have Aldridge. You still have DeRozan. Uh, a vet like Rudy Gay. I mean, uh, Craig Popovich coaches teams into the playoffs. Just what he does. I like their backcourt, especially if everyone stays healthy. Yep. I'm excited to see what those guys can do together finally this year. Um, I'm interested, though. I did ask our producers. I'm like, if they say yes or no to making the playoffs, make them say who the eight teams is. So we just put up. You're, you're, you hedged. You were like six, <laughs> and then two, whatever. Here's George. George actually answered. I did the actual eight. <laughs> yeah. These are your eight. Yeah, so I put Spurs in as my seventh, and then uh, I don't really want to count the Warriors out. But what? I, think, I don't want to count them out. But you're going to. But I, I think the Mavericks, <laughs> the Mavericks are the team, or the Warriors. So Steph Curry, MVP Steph type Curry, season, no? Not having two incredible wings healthy next to him. Oh, I mean, Draymond long. Green, pretty good. Last time I checked still, you know? Draymond Green, not Kevin Durant and Clay. I, I, I get it, but it, again, we're just going to rule. You're, you're, you're saying you're not ruling them out, but you're kind of ruling them out. I'm saying that they're going to have to, you know, have some things go their way to make the playoffs. I mean, look, this is what's so interesting in the West because we're talking about how everybody has a chance at the championship. But the truth is, first of all, not everyone actually has a chance at the championship and also just making the playoffs. I feel like we say it every year, but this year it's going to be even harder. I'll take it a step further. I think if the I think the Warriors will be in the playoffs and if Clay comes back healthy around the All-Star break, mm -hmm. I wouldn't rule them out of getting to the finals again. Like I'm that confident in them if they are healthy and ready to roll as the season progresses. You know, they don't have Andre Iguodala either. That's cool. We were on right the show now. yesterday and you said <laughs> they would have beaten the Rockets. Soundly I understand, if they had but that was, that was a couple years ago but now. But he's an important piece they're also missing. I, I, I get it, but he, look, it's not like they don't have guys. They may be constructed a little differently, but I love the signing of Willie Cauley Stein. I think that that helps their front court. He actually is a better fit than maybe what DeMarcus Cousins mm -hmm. was bringing to the table, and they bring back Looney. Like, I, I think that they like their young guys and they want them to be kind of hungry and guys who want to try to like find their own niches and I think they've got some of those guys in the roster who may fill that void. I just think Steph Curry getting consistent double and triple teams that he was protected from having such great teammates for the last couple of years could change the complexion of their dominance. All right, my challenge to everyone out there watching the show is to make your list of the eight Western Conference teams that are making the playoffs and then think about who's going to advance to the next round because I thought Kevin Arnovitz's That's point tough. last yeah. week was so good that you've got a bunch of teams who think they are championship contenders who might not get out of the first round because only four Western Conference, you know what I mean? You, you can only get so many there. So make your list. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For highlights and analysis, check out the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, check out ESPN+.